Okay, logarithmic functions and the Richter scale. So here we have some earthquake math that goes with our logarithmic functions. <clears throat> the Richter scale is the common log of I over I sub zero. I sub zero is kind of this um, kind of minimum intensity kind of scale. So the first thing we want to figure out is if the intensity of the earthquake is, you know what, this should be 1,000. What if the intensity is 1,000 times I sub zero? Then what is R equal to? So how would you find that out? And this is actually, I think it's pretty straightforward. So let's take a quick look. So we're given this, and all we're going to do is take this. We're going to say that, that R, our Richter scale, is one is log of 1,000 I sub zero over I sub zero, right? We can cancel I sub zeros, can't we? And that gives us that our scale is log of 1,000, right? Remember, you guys, if we have the common log, it's base 10, isn't it? So just to have that said, so what would that look like? Well, that would look like this. That would look like r is the same as log base, uh, log uh, common log of 10 to the third power. So 10 to what power is 10 to the third? So the intensity would be 3, right? So our answer is equals 3. Pretty straightforward, I think. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's do. Let's keep going with this a little bit. I think. Um, Da, 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 da. Now, I think I'm going to stop, just keep this short for you guys, and then I'll go back and I'm going to do another quick video on expressing this I in terms of the Richter scale and I sub zero. And that should be pretty easy to do, so stay tuned. Thanks. Oh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe.